everyone wants to know who are my favorite wrestlers of all time. It has to be one of those guys from GTS Wrestling, right? Yeah, so I'm going to rank one of my favorite GTS wrestlers who have influenced me to watch GTS Wrestling for life. You're watching my top 10 favorite GTS superstars of all time. Number 10, Ace Hitman Jones. He is one of the most high-flying, charismatic superstar in GTS Wrestling. He's no doubt one of the best guys to watch on GTS Wrestling ever since he made his debut. He's like the underdog who can rise up to the top of the mountain, similar to the current WWE Superstar, one and only Ricochet. Number 9, Doohop. The reason why he's number 9 because, well, first off, he's very fun to watch on GTS. He's the one who started GTS Wrestling with his brother, Grimm. And not only that, he's also the co-founder of D-Generation Fat. But here's the thing, he's one of the main reasons why I started watching GTS Wrestling, which is right before they have the wrestling ring in Supergram's backyard. And number 8, what a coincidence, Grimm. Okay, so people might have thought that Grimm is my number one favorite GTS superstar of all time. Well, you are sadly wrong. You see, this man always put himself over a lot of times, but hey, you gotta admit, you can't be wrong that this man created GTS Wrestling as the first reality wrestling show on YouTube. But the truth is that I started watching his videos on YouTube, well, Silly Super Pop, and one of his main videos that I have normally watched when I started watching it was the Action Figure Insiders, the actual GTS Wrestling Action Figure show, and that skit videos that he always shows on every Friday, for those of you who knows this. He's like the first wrestling channel I watched on YouTube before What Culture Wrestling. Number 7, Bonifer. Charlie Bonifer, Bruiser Bonifer, Simply Bonifer, you name it. He's like the psychopath who loves to hurt people. Honestly, I liked it, his character though, although his current gimmick went way better than his old gimmick like the one when he was an MMA brawler that time when he first wrestled in GTS Wrestling. Number 6, Kurt Bale. I didn't like him when he first wrestled in GTS Wrestling or even the time when he turned himself into a vampire and I never liked it from the first start in my opinion. But when he vanished from being a vampire, he seems pretty cool when he came to the top. But what's even better is that by the time when he became a heel with his badass attitude and his new metal theme song, it fits him way better in my opinion. Just goes to show that he is the perfect Irishman. Although as of today, he's like the babyface right now. But hey, I still like him though. Number 5, Hollywood. Hooligan. Hollywood Hooligan is one of the best hardcore superstars in GTS Wrestling. Not only that, he's very phenomenal in the ring and he's been wrestling for like over a decade and he has like a cool shades and wore black and white attire. It really fits him as his persona in pro wrestling. You can't deny that he's one of the best performers in GTS Wrestling today. Number 4, Tommy Salami. Tommy Salami is no doubt the best powerhouse in GTS Wrestling. He has like the best finishing move in pro wrestling. I always liked him when he was in the tag team division with Pete Corvus because these two are from Brooklyn, New York. It would have been great if these two still works with GTS and dominates the tag team division. That way we could see them as the best tag team in GTS Wrestling. Number 3, Jay The Key Evans. Jay is like the GTS version of Seth Rollins, but not the one who burned it down. I meant the one who is the undisputed future of the company. Jay is one of the best high-flying superstar next to Ace Hitman Jones, but also one of the best junior heavyweight superstar in GTS. Honestly, I would love to see Jay Evans as a single competitor once again, but this time he should be in the main event rather than competing in a tag team division. Although it's cool to watch Jay Evans and his partner Jay Cage in a tag team action on GTS because they're a legend, wait for it, Dairy. Number 2, Vlad. Vlad is like the GTS version of Brock Lesnar, but the difference is, is that 
he shows up on GTS Wrestling more than how many times that Brock Lesnar show up on Raw as the Universal Champion. The first time I watched him on GTS Wrestling is when I thought he was going to be like the Moscow Mola Vladimir Kozlov or the Bulgarian Brute Rusev considering that he was like a Russian hacker or something like that. He's not actually Russian though, but still. He's a great GTS star to watch. Unfortunately, he's no longer wrestling as of today. He's no doubt one of the best GTS performers in history, and he will always be the guy who main event at Grimma Mania. Number one, Keith Corvus. Do I need to talk about it? Sure, why not? This man is not only one of my favorite GTS superstar of all time, but he is also one of the best heel wrestlers in GTS wrestling. You can't deny that this man is needed for bringing the views on YouTube. Everyone loves to see Pete Corbis as whether he is a heel or a face, but there's nobody on the GTS roster will ever top their best shocking GTS return than him. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and who's your favorite GTS superstar. And other than that, Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe for more content. Tap that little bell so you don't want to miss an upload. As always, peace and good day.